Today is the Berry Lines 40th anniversary. I don't have any big videos this time around, but as someone who lives less than three minutes away from the Aurora Go station, I can't not contribute to this. So the best thing I can think of is a brief history lecture on the Berry Line. Berry Line trains roll on CN's New Market Sub. This rail line is as old as 1853. However, I'm not going to discuss the New Market Sub because this will be a whole other video. So Berry Line service began on September 7, 1982, and back then there were only six stations beginning with Toronto's Union Station, and then a fair amount of distance between Union and Maple, followed by King City, and fun fact, this station also opened with GO Train service in 1982 on this line, and then the trains would head northeast to Aurora, and then there's Newmarket. That station platform has since been relocated north of Davis Drive at the Tannery Mall. The original station building for Newmarket is located south of Davis Drive. It's still there. And then after Newmarket, the trains would head north, and then northwest after Green Lane towards Bradford. Apparently between 1990 and 1993, there was a brief period of GO train service between Bradford and Barry's Allendale Station. However, Barry did not see any GO trains between 1993 and 2007. That's a 14 year gap. We'll come back to that later, but for now, in early 2001, the Rutherford Go station opened just south of and Rutherford And right now, Road. Rutherford Go is undergoing its final phases of mass renovation. The new features to this station include as follows. A pedestrian bridge spanning over the tracks. A six-story parking garage. A second platform. Great separation of the Rutherford Road train crossing. And many more. And now we're going to jump to 2002, where the most pointless GO station ever opened. York University. This station opened in the middle of an industrial park. It was a 20-minute walk west to the university campus. We're going to come back to this later, but for now we got more stations to cover. In late 2004, the East Gwillimbury GO station opened. It's located at the corner of Green Lane and Main Street. Green Lane acts as Newmarket's north city limit, so this is technically a second Newmarket station. The station itself remains its 2004 self, it's not changed much. I think they might have just put in more parking space, because in 2019, a secondary station entrance opened on Main Street just south of Green Lane. Alright, on to the next station. In late 2007, significant changes happened. Barry Go Trains returned, as the Barry South Go Station opened in the Painswick neighborhood, thus renaming the Bradford Line to the Barry Line. The Barry South Go Station is located on Young Street just north of Mapleview Drive. For the following year, late 2008, the grade separation at the Snyder Diamond was completed. This is where the Barry Line intersects with CN's York Sub. As you can imagine, the Snyder Diamond led to some pretty annoying train delays considering McMillan Yard is really close by. In 2009, construction of a new Allendale Waterfront GO station started. Now the old Allendale station is as old as 1905 and has not been operational since 1996. With GO Transit's new Allendale Waterfront GO station, construction delays led to the station being added to the map in January of 2012. The station was supposed to open in autumn of 2011. The Berry Line has stayed the same for the next five years, until Downsview Park GO Station opened in late 2017. It's located just south of Shepherd Avenue. The station also opened with the Toronto York Spadina subway extension north into Vaughan, meaning this station is an interchange. This station services the Berry Line and the Line 1 subway. And when it comes to York University students, this is a much easier commute as well. Just hop on any Vaughan bound subway and get off at York University. And York University subway station opens up right in the middle of campus. Everybody started using the subway to get to York University. The York University GO station held the record for the least used station in Toronto. On March 17th, 2020, the York University GO station had its last train stop. The following day, March 18th, 2020, the station was temporarily closed due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The station remained closed and untouched until July 19th, 2021. It was announced that York University GO station would permanently close to make way for more trains. The station has been removed from the map and later demolished in April of 2022. Anyway, here's one major Berry Line improvement that's underway. 
the Davenport grade separation. The Davenport Diamond is located just south of St. Clair Avenue, and it's where the Barry Line intersects with CP's North Toronto sub. As you can see, they're doing pretty much the same thing they did to Snyder, there's just going to be less space. Also, it looks like this grade separation will also eliminate the need for the Wallace Avenue train crossing, the Newmarket Sub's southernmost train crossing. In terms of future Barry Line Go stations, Caledonia Station with the Eglinton Crosstown looks like it's going to be another interchange with the Barry Line. A Bloor Lansdowne Go station is also entirely possible. For a few years now, there's been a rumor about a Mulock Go station in Newmarket as well. And then there's a proposed Kirby Go station, and might I say, this would be even more useless than the former York University Go station. It opens up in the middle of nowhere, and I for one do not want this to happen. This next future Go station? Innisville, just south of Barrie, and it's set to be located just north of 6th Line, outside of Alcona. So that's just about all the Barry Line stuff I got for you, so here's to the next 40 years of Go Trains on the Barry Line, and we'll see where we are from there. You don't want to miss a moment. Hit the subscribe button if you like my content. That being said, see you in the next video. Bye now.